New Crossbows at the SHOT Show 2012. On this show, we're going to talk to representatives of Ten Point, Excalibur, and Barnett about their new crossbows that they introduced at the show this year. I'm Hovey Smith, and this is Range Day, which is Monday before the SHOT Show starts. And what's going on right here is we are going to get to shoot a lot of products that are going to be displayed on the show through the rest of the week. Now, if you stay tuned to this show, I'm going to show you some of these products and give you descriptions of them. Randy, tell me about the crossbow you're holding. This is the new Carbon Elite. We came out with the carbon woven fiber technology last year in the barrel. And what we've done this year is taken that same technology and we've put an XLT extreme limb technology front end on it. This bow weighs six pounds, 14 ounces. It's only about 17 and a half inches wide. When it's cocked, it's about 13 inches wide. Shoots 334 feet a second. Very, very lightweight, very well balanced. Incredible shooting bow, nice and quiet because of the carbon barrel also. Now, one thing about y'all's technology that y'all have done over the past few years is restricted the width of your limbs. Y'all have made great progress along that line. Absolutely, yeah. We, we came out with the CLS compact lens system a few years ago, and those were about 21 inches wide, and we still have some of those in the line. Those work very well, too. But this XLT front end um, brings the angle back, shortens the limbs, um, actually helps lengthen the power stroke a little bit, and reduces noise. So it makes it a very user-friendly, hunter-friendly crossbow. For those who have some reservations about those very short limbs, uh, you say they still put out and they still perform, huh? Absolutely. Um, in fact, they perform better than the wider ones uh, in the fact that they are more manageable to move through the woods. Um, and performance-wise, they you know they shoot great speeds, but they're quieter as well. So okay. it's, it's, a, it's a great win for whatever you're doing in the woods. Bill, what kind of instrument are you holding there? This is our new Eclipse crossbow. This crossbow is made specifically for hunting out of a blind in mind. Brown blinds tend to be dark inside, darker colors blend in better and provide less visibility. So a lot of people these days are looking towards darker colored equipment, darker colored clothing for ground blind use. Yes, sir. Now, I notice you have some rather prominent silencers, which I have not seen on Excalibur crossbows before. These are our S5 silencers. The S5s reduce the vibration and noise when you fire the bow, which really quiets it down a lot, keeps the deer calmer while the arrow's in flight. Uh, S5s are available for any of our crossbows, but we put it on this bow specifically for use once again in blind hunting. Now, you also have a different arrangement of your accessories on that crossbow. Well, th this bow is set up with the uh, tack pack system that we've got. The tack pack is a little different system. Uh, it's made specifically to hold accessories. It uses a pick, pick rail. There's actually three pick rails involved. It bolts directly onto the frame of the bow. You can put a handle on it like this so that you've got a good grip on the front of the bow. You could have any of the thousands of different accessories that are available for pick rail mounting and uh, it just gives you a little bit more utility for the bow, gives you more uses. Well indeed, uh, for nighttime hog hunting as I sometimes do in Georgia with a crossbow, this is a fine place of course to attach your light. It's uh, a great place, you could put lights on it, you could put lasers on it, uh, we've got an attachment to mount your quiver on it, I mean it's a very useful little accessory. Now, Bill, uh, where can people go and online and see and find out about your crossbows? The best place to learn about crossbows online is ExcaliburCrossbow.com. That's www.ExcaliburCrossbow.com. It is uh, a great site. It has tons of information about our bows specifically. And we also really believe in education, so we have tons of information for anybody to go on and learn about the crossbows in general and how to hunt with them and shoot them accurately. We also have a really great forum on there where you can go in and 
discuss crossbows and crossbow hunting with thousands of knowledgeable people. This particular crossbow is in your mid-price range of the crossbows you offer. You have some higher price and you have some lower price. For a guy who's just getting into crossbows, now you still have some lower priced models than this. Well, we do, yes. We've got, we've got two bows we brought out in the last couple of years specifically aimed at people who can only afford in the $500 or so range for their new crossbow. Two SMF bows, the Ibex SMF and the uh, Axio SMF. Super bows, lightweight, use a composite mainframe to reduce the weight, and they uh, come with the accessories. They've got scopes, rings, bases, quiver, quiver mount, and arrows, all included for that price around $500. A super way to get into an Excalibur crossbow with reasonable price. Well, thanks very much, Bill, and good luck at the show. Thank you very much, and uh, enjoy the shot show. Well, I'm at Barnett Crossbows, and uh, David Barnett is among the missing this morning. Out here in the wilds of Las Vegas, we haven't had any calls from the police department yet, but uh, so supposedly he's okay. In the meantime, we're going to be talking about his crossbows with Scott Belvedere who is holding a Jackal crossbow, which is one of the best buys in the Barnett line at the moment. It's an entry bow, 150 pound pull, easy to operate, an excellent trigger, has a rail that takes a variety of sights, and tell us a little bit more about this crossbow. Well, the Jackal is very versatile, lightweight, somewhat compact, uh, shoots a 20 inch arrow, of course has our new ADF trigger which we introduced two years ago. Uh, basically ADF stands for anti-dry fire. It's an inhibitor so you have to load an arrow in order for you to disengage the safety. Okay, so now uh, what is its base price? $349.99 MSRP. Okay. It shoots 315 feet per second which is more than enough to get the job done. And with what weight arrow? Uh, it's a 425 grain. Now that's a good heavy arrow. That'll be able to penetrate even a good sized deer. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's go sort of to the other extreme of the Barnett line. Okay. And this bow incorporates a lot of the new carbon fiber technology. And as you can right. see, it looks a bit on the different side. Yep. In particular, the whole front end is different than anything you only have had out before. Absolutely. Now tell us about that one. Well, this is our Ghost 400 line. As you can see, it has much more of a tactical look. And of course, last year we debuted our carbon riser technology. Basically what this did was knock a whole pound out of the riser itself, which enabled it to actually shift the center of gravity of the bow back two inches, which once you shoulder it, it's a lot more balanced. I like to shoot a lot more with a compact stance, and with the uh, heavier type risers, it really made it quite a bit front heavy, mm -hmm. but this alleviated a lot of that. Well, indeed. Now, one thing very useful that y'all did with that bow is you increase the size of the foot piece which now if you hunt in snow or if you wear snow boots or in mud and water like I very commonly do, yeah. I need something that I can stick a fairly heavy rubber boot through or even a wader boot Absolutely. and that will work. So an excellent looking bow. Now what sort of price range are we talking about? Um, basically this one's $1199.99 MSRP and keep in mind this is a full package. You're getting the works with the Ghost 400. Comes with the Apex Quiver, three 22 inch arrows, uh, three by 32 dual illuminated scope. You can either you can go green or red with this. Uh, of course, the ADF trigger comes with the sling, which we don't have on there because it comes a little bit cumbersome to display. Yes, sir. Now, and a free hat. Don't forget <laughs> okay. that. Well. 
with the free hat. Uh, now, how does this compare to the price of the Jackal? Well, the Jackal, of course, starts at three forty-nine. This eleven ninety-nine ninety. All right. So now, Barnett also has, of course, a whole series of intermediate Christ crossbows Absolutely. between these two ranges, and one, the RC one hundred and fifty, an absolute beginner's bow, at an even lower price yet. Now, the RC one hundred and fifty has a lot of good qualities. It's lightweight. It will kill deer. Have done that. Close range, though. A lighter weight arrow. I like to shoot it at about 35 yards or so at some of our smallest Georgia deer, and it'll take them down every time. Now, it is not as durable an instrument as the more high-priced bows, however. Yes, it will work, and ideal almost for starting off a youth, or if you are handicapped and have only the use of one arm, it will work in that situation too, because you're not supporting so much weight. Now. Barnett has something altogether different out for next year. New for 2012 is the Vengeance Crossbow. Basically, this has the new reverse limb technology, which really neutralizes the center of gravity. You shoulder this up. Very well balanced weapon. Another benefit of this is now the limbs, when you're firing, go outward. And what this does is it really diminishes vibration. Normally your limbs are traveling forward. What this is doing instead is going out. So you're not getting that fore aft shot. Now I understand that the model you're actually holding is in prototype and is not exactly as it will be released later in the year. That's correct. What is the plan, the specifications for the new model so far as weight goes? Um, well, we don't have a final weight. Our goal is to reduce the riser assembly by two pounds though. Mm -hmm. This we had it machined out of aluminum just so we can get some initial numbers with it. Basically, we're still kind of tweaking a few things as far as limb angle string of cable links and so forth. Okay. Now you do have some sound suppressing system on that that I have not seen before right there at the very front of the bow. That's correct. Um, not only is it sound suppressing, it also serves the function of keeping your string on the track. One of the characteristics of these bows is really low, if you notice here, string tension yes. on this. So when you're shooting it, once the shot's delivered, that string wants to continue traveling forward. So it serves the function of keeping it mm -hmm. basically on your track. Well, since this is a prototype bow, I assume some characteristics will change, including put on a, putting on a larger foot piece. Um, that I can't answer. <laughs> okay. And do we have any idea about what final price might be? The final price on this, our goal is $899 MSRP. Again, it's going to shoot 365 feet per second and have 165, 160 pound draw. Well, that is, certainly would be an outstanding price for that technology and that bow. Yes. Well, now where can people go and find out the latest info on Barnett crossbows and when things like this new bow are going to be available? Very simple, just go to www.barnettcrossbows.com. I'm probably best known for my book, Backyard Deer Hunting. I have others like crossbow hunting, practical bow fishing, and I also have a radio show, Hovey's Outdoor Adventures, where I sometimes talk about crossbows. For more information about my books, blogs, videos, and radio show, Hovey's Outdoor Adventures, Go to www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors.